Boom! Crunch! Frog? Greetings. I am Monster D. <laughs> Do you like frogs? <laughs> Would you like to draw some frogs with me today? <laughs> let us begin. Or shall I say, let us get hopping. <laughs> What does a frog look like exactly, huh? They're usually... I feel like they're usually a little bit triangular. Let's see. And they have those big eyes, right? And a big round mouth. Almost done. Does it ever appear to you that a frog is smiling? <laughs> do frogs smile? What do you think? Or have you ever seen a frog with a different facial expression? Have you ever seen a frog that looked like it was angry? Or sad? <laughs> Do you think frogs have emotions of any kind? What do you think? There we go. So that is a frog, right? Is that a frog? Or is that a co toad? How do we know if that's a frog or a toad, huh? What is the difference between a frog and a toad? Is there a difference? Interesting, huh? What do you think I should color this frog? Should I color him green? Or, I do not believe I have brown. Normally I would color, add some brown on here. But let's just make him green from now. Does green automatically make him a frog? Are there green toads in the world? Are there brown frogs? What do you think? Hmm. You know, I once heard this saying a long time ago that goes something like this. It says that all frogs, I'm sorry, <laughs> all toads are frogs, but not all frogs are toads. Does that make sense? Hmm. Shall we explore this some more? Let's see. Shall I draw some, some more frogs? Let's see. I'm going to draw another one here. How many different kinds of frogs do you think there are? Hmm? Do you think different frogs live in different places or do they all live in the same kind of place? What do you think? This is a pretty big world, huh? It'd be a pretty big world for all the frogs in the world to live in one place, huh? So you think they live in different places? Different kinds of places? What do you think? All right. Well, what I'm drawing now is something that is called a a desert frog. Have you ever heard of a desert frog before? How can a frog live in a desert? Where do you usually see frogs at? Do you usually see them in the water? Hmm? So, is there water in the desert? How do you think they might deal with that? Interesting, huh? Well, look at this. I'm going to add to this picture. And let's see if you can guess what this is. What do you think these are? They sort of look like bubbles, huh? But they're not just bubbles. These help the frog to live in the desert. Can you guess how or why? Or what they might be made of? 
Interesting, huh? Sometimes this desert frog is also known as breviceps. Can you say breviceps? That's a weird and kind of big word, huh? Breviceps. I think you should look that up to see more about the breviceps. Shall I draw something different? All right, here we go. Let me draw something else. Let's see here. see here do you think there is only one kind of frog that might live in a desert or do you think different frogs might live in different deserts what do you think for that matter are all deserts the same do you think different kinds of deserts might have different kinds of life in them what do you think now, let's see here. Let me change this up a little bit. So this frog. Ooh, what color am I, am I adding to this frog? Have you ever seen a frog that color before? Any idea what this frog might be called? Hmm? Is there something that you recognize that that kind of looks like? With that color and those dark spots? Some people call this a strawberry frog. Have you ever heard of a strawberry frog before? Now, why might they call it a strawberry frog? What color is a strawberry? Hmm? And what color is that frog? Is a strawberry those exact colors? <laughs> Do you think they taste the same? <laughs> Weird, huh? How about I draw one more? All right, now. You know I've got to draw something a little weirder, huh? Even weirder than a strawberry frog. Perhaps even weirder than a desert frog. So what are some things that make all frogs and toads similar? What, what, what makes them look and seem alike, even the very different ones? Do they have things that make them seem similar? Hmm? Let's see here. Is this looking weird to you? It's a very flat frog, huh? Have you heard of frogs? Heard of or seen frogs that are so flat? This one is called a Suriname toad. <gasps> I just said toad, but I've also caught a frog. Do you remember what I said earlier? All toads are frogs, but not all frogs are toads, huh? So the Suriname toad is a frog. What is unique about the Suriname toad? Now are those spots, you probably look like spots. These are actually not supposed to be spots. These are holes. <gasps> Why would a toad have big holes on its back? That might be worth looking up, huh? The Suriname toad, very flat with holes on its back. Strange, huh? Do you think there are stranger frogs or toads in the world? What other kinds of frogs or toads do you know about? Feel free to share. <laughs> Let me know when you've looked up some of these things to uh, uh, re relay back to me some information, huh? It's always fun to learn about new and different creatures, huh? Well, I hope you've enjoyed hopping with me to draw frogs and toads. Hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope that you stay monstrous and won't you please give me a nice monster. Bing! <laughs>